This video about HoneyBook integrations is the final video in our How to Use HoneyBook course. So if you're new here, just start at the beginning of this playlist and you'll get all about how to set up HoneyBook from start to finish. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you a free download and show you how to map out your process flow and some of the things you can do to get started that will be most helpful to your business because I know I've covered a lot in this course. So definitely stay tuned for that. To access any of our integrations in HoneyBook, we'll click on our name, our company settings, and the integrations tab. And you can see there are quite a few of them depending on what's going to be most useful to you and what you're already using in your business. So you can do email integration, which you can use a few different platforms to connect. As I mentioned in a previous section, the Gmail integration is going to be the best one for HoneyBook because it comes with the Chrome extension that brings HoneyBook basically into your Gmail inbox. I do have a larger video on just that Chrome extension that you can check out. I'll link it in the description because it is game changing if you do use G Suite for your business email. Some other ones you can use are Google Contacts. There's a few different calendar options that you can connect and integrate with your calendar here in HoneyBook. Um, you can also use Zoom and then you can use like Google Meet if you set up the Google integration in general that includes a lot of different things including Google Meet. Um, and then we also have Zoom for conferencing as well. QuickBooks we covered in the last section. It's a really good integration because HoneyBook is not really calculating everything that happens in your business and QuickBooks is a little bit better for accounting. And then Calendly is a great option. It honestly doesn't differ a lot from the scheduler in HoneyBook. Here's a little comparison chart. And kind of the main thing is like, you're going to have to pay extra for Calendly. Whereas if you're already paying for HoneyBook um, in the essentials plan, you will get that scheduler included for free. But if you are just set up with Calendly and absolutely love it, you can connect it here as well. Zapier or Zapier um, allows you to connect HoneyBook with like a bunch of other platforms. So you can see a couple popular zaps here, like creating a new Google Drive folder for each project in HoneyBook or send an out of office email or add a new HoneyBook inquiry to a MailChimp list. So this is just an example of some of the different systems you can connect HoneyBook to. So if there's anything that it doesn't integrate with, um, Zapier is basically your connection from HoneyBook to a lot of those other systems. When we click see more, you can see we're integrating with ClickBook, we're integrating with Google Sheets, we're integrating with Trello. So if you use any of these outside systems that don't officially integrate, um, then Zapier might be a great kind of go between to help you connect to those things. Pick time is great if you're a photographer, um, meta leads, if you're running Facebook and Instagram ads, you can have them come into HoneyBook directly, Slack, Monday and Asana. So some of our task and project management, as well as uh, workspace and communication tools that you can integrate here into HoneyBook directly. HoneyBook actually has more integrations than a lot of the other CRM platforms out there. And I think it's a great way to connect the things that you're already using into this system once you start using it. So with covering those integrations, we officially complete the how to use HoneyBook course, but I have an exercise that's gonna help you get started on actually setting it up. So stay tuned. As a reminder, if you haven't fully invested in HoneyBook or still on your free trial, um, I honestly recommend the starter plan. I think it's gonna be really helpful for pretty much everything that you need to do unless the scheduler and QuickBooks online integration are extremely important to you right now, as well as maybe like other team members. Um, you can always upgrade to essentials when you are ready and you can get these 50% off prices, or even if this sale ends, you can get 35% off the full prices by using my link in the description and the code Lamey. Now, in the description, you'll find this blank process flow diagram that you can download. You can also kind of make your own if this isn't fitting with your business. But this is a way to kind of figure out how HoneyBook can help you get some quick wins because we covered so much in this course and you're not going to get it all set up within the first month or two. I recommend starting with a few simple things toward things we talked about at the beginning and then 
as you're noticing how everything starts to fit together, it will start to kind of come around back to itself. It kind of goes in a circle. So start somewhere and then eventually you'll end up kind of back in that same place again with the automations and the smart files and putting everything together. But you have to get those building blocks in there first. So once you've done your company settings, fill out this process flow diagram for your business. We're going to start with all the different ways that clients reach out to you, maybe Instagram, email, Facebook leads, wedding planners, etc. And then kind of how are you gathering more information? Are you having a consult with them? Are you just emailing them back? How are you sending proposals? Um, maybe answering these questions of why are people booking at this stage and why are people not booking, how we do this. And then there's a lot of space here for how you actually manage the project. So if you're a web designer, that's going to be different than if you're a stationary designer, or different than your photographer or a DJ or whatever type of business you run. And there's going to be different emails and templates and questionnaires and things that will help you with that. And then after that, we want to finalize the project and the final payment, deliver it to your client, and then any kind of follow-up or feedback that last email you're sending them, which could be, hey, let's get you back on the calendar for another order. Um, it could be a gift that you send them. It could be asking them for reviews and pictures from the wedding. That's something that I do. So as you're filling these things in, if there's anywhere that you feel you don't know what happens next, that's a great option. You've watched all these videos on HoneyBooks. So, hey, would an email template help? Would a smart file help? Would adding a questionnaire in help? What's going to help you move this process along further? And what do you want to be the next step? Then once this is complete, you can go through and find some quick wins. So a quick win would be an email that you send a lot. Just go ahead and make an email template out of it. And if you can, you could do an automation for when it sends, like that welcome to the family one that we sent with resources right after the contract was signed. That's just gonna be a nice touch that maybe I don't have time to do for every client, but if I can automate it with HoneyBook, it's a quick win. I also think contracts is always a good place to start as a quick win because you're probably sending them over in like PDF if you don't have a system like this and clients are going to appreciate this way better. You can also go ahead and connect those with an invoice and payment using a smart file and that will be another really great quick win. And then the last quick win that I really like as an invitation designer is questionnaires. So gathering information from clients is so complicated for me and whether you're a DJ or photographer or a wedding planner or a million other different things, there's probably a lot of information that you have to gather and emails just like aren't cutting it or causing you to lose things, miss things, spend time searching for them. So if you can create a questionnaire here in HoneyBook to collect all that data, it will always be in the same place and you'll always know exactly where to find it. And then the last quick easy win is gonna be back in section three, we talked about contact forms. So going ahead and getting that contact form embedded onto your website, will make sure that any new leads you have coming in are already in HoneyBook and then you have access to send them those email templates, contracts, questionnaires, etc. that you created. Now, after that, I think you'll find a lot of places in your process flow where you either want to add some steps with the help of HoneyBook or you want to take some of the steps off your plate with the help of automation, smart files, et cetera, and just make those things easier so you can keep going. Another great thing is highlighting the stages in your process that clients especially love and making sure you highlight those and continue to do those as you switch over to HoneyBook. And then also highlighting the stages in your process where clients typically drop off. A lot of that will happen you know, in the proposal stage. But during that stage, how can you provide a little bit more value? How can you answer questions a little bit more preemptively? How can you make your business look a little bit more professional? We saw some amazing templates in that template gallery that you can use to do those things. And maybe you can take that conversion rate and start to increase it because you're looking like a larger, more professional business with the help of all those tools from HoneyBook. I know it's a lot to set up, so I hope that you'll take time to do some of those quick wins. And remember that every time you set up a new file or a new questionnaire or a new contract, for instance, it's the last time that you'll ever have to do that and then you can quickly send that out so I created some of my forms like eight years ago when I was first starting my business and haven't really had to do much except edit them a little bit over time so even though it takes a little while to get set up and can feel overwhelming I hope this course has given you the idea of where it can go and how to kind of start in a reasonable way to get some of those quick wins and start to see the value of HoneyBook and then you can grow into those additional features as needed let me know if you have any other features that you'd like me to cover or any questions that you have after watching this about whether HoneyBook is right for your business. I do have some comparison videos with other systems if you're still not quite sure 
where to go. And then if you are ready to make the investment into HoneyBook, I hope you'll use my code Lainey to get 35 to 50% off of your first year. Thanks everyone for watching this course. I hope now you feel confident in going forward and using HoneyBook to make your business seem more professional, more efficient, and to help make you more money.